Well, I've got COVID. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. This is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I've decided that I wanted to vlog my experiences with COVID-19. Um, what's going on in the Yankee household, how I'm weathering the storm that has broke, um, and my thoughts about stacking and prepping during this time. So you're gonna get to see some behind the scenes um, and I will bring you through. This is going to be day one. Okay, so day one, September 6th. I'm filming this at 9 p.m. And, uh, yeah, this is my, uh, this is my setup for where I do my YouTubing. This is actually my, uh, oldest daughter's former room. And, uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a better tour of it in a bit. But let me tell you how I got here. So, with COVID... Um, Wednesday of this week, uh, my wife had a, uh, two-year-old that she watches every day, every week for, uh, a woman who's working in a family that, that works. So she's like a nanny. Okay. So this, this little two-year-old was in our house and, uh, had been exhibiting some cold symptoms recently. Um, I think as far back as, uh, Friday, which would put it at, you know, the beginning of the month. If, if I can't have the exact, I don't have the exact date on my head. So anyways, this kid was in the house, had a little bit of snot in the nose, nothing major. I was a little concerned when I heard that, but whatever. Um, I'm working at home. Um, so I'm upstairs right here uh, doing my job. And my son, uh, he's actually at school physically at school. He's been physically at school the whole school year. So uh, long story short here, the uh, mother and child tested positive for COVID. I guess the mother's school had had a pocket of, uh, of COVID-19. She must have gotten it, gave it to her two-year-old. That's at least what I'm surmising and uh, brought it into the Yankee household. So, uh, we got word that she had tested, they had both tested positive, and that was, um, I think, Thursday night they had gotten the information to us. So that meant quarantine for the Yankee household. So I'm not going to work. I'm not going into the office. Um, my wife is uh, at home. My son is not going to school anymore, and we're all in separate rooms. So I'm sleeping. <laughs> in this room with my uh, computer setup. I have been for a couple of nights now. So let's talk about symptoms. Um, well, I haven't felt anything really. I mean, this morning, uh, Saturday morning, I woke up and uh, I felt a little bit of mucus in my nose and, and throat. So it wasn't sore throat. I uh, just got a tissue, got rid of it. It was a little yellow which usually is an indication that I have a cold coming on. I've seen that many times in my life. So, all right, no sore throat, no fever, no aches and pains, no headache, uh, no loss of, of smell or, or taste. My Raisin Bran tasted like Raisin Bran when I woke up. Um, yeah, it was, it was it, it, if I didn't know that I had had a kid in the house with COVID, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. Now, my wife... She, uh, being close to the kid all the time, I don't spend much time next to the kid much, but she's always, you know, changing diapers and doing everything with the kid. She's a little bit ahead of me. So when she woke up, she said that her, you know, head hurt a little bit, a little bit of a headache, um, just not feeling well, but not bad, right? So it wasn't like she had a temperature and she wasn't, you know, uh, exhibiting most symptoms, but you know, just had a little nasal discharge um, and just, you know, felt something was, wasn't was right. My son, Little Stacks, who's in the room right over there, uh, you may hear him. He's working on his PC build and talking to his friends online. He, he's been sneezing a lot and blowing his nose. So he's got nasal discharge as well. He's he has allergies, so it's been kind of difficult to know the difference, but I can tell it's a lot more tissues <laughs> than normal. So 
I think he has it. I think we all have it, quite frankly. Um, and I'm almost 100% sure my wife has it. So tonight, um, this is Saturday night, 9 p.m., she just took her temperature and it was 99.1. Hmm. 99.1. Yeah, okay. I think she's got COVID. <laughs> and I think all of us are probably going to get it. Now, it doesn't mean I'm not trying to avoid it, all right? Uh, you know, I, I wear my N95 mask, which is right over there. We have, you know, uh, uh, sanitized. Um, she's wearing a double mask all the time. Um, she stays in her room. I stay in this room. My son stays in his room. So we're trying to isolate. Uh, we have separate bathrooms and all that kind of good stuff. I brought my all my toiletries over there. So self-contained somewhat. But we do go down and use the kitchen. We sanitize it. We wear a mask. We try to do it at separate different times. But the odds are that everybody's going to get it. The The idea that one person can somehow stay COVID-free or two people stay COVID-free in a house with somebody that's infected is highly unlikely. Um, you know, it it's mild symptoms right now. Again, I, I'm fully expecting to to go to sleep and sleep through the night, wake up tomorrow, possibly feel a little bit more symptoms and maybe even have a low grade temp. I hope that's all it is. I hope this is a very, very mild, you know, infection for my wife and I. And hopefully I, you know, little stacks, it's almost nothing to him, right? But yeah, so that's, that's the first day, day one uh, update. Now, I'm I'm in the room with my YouTube equipment, right? So I'm going to be able to, you know, still record videos, still hopefully go live with our premiere episode on Thursday of Silver Pros with my good friend Silver Dragons. Hopefully I'm not hacking and coughing and feel awful that night. Um but yeah, uh, I I think I think I'm good. I really do. I'm kind of glad I'm stuck in this room if I have to be stuck anywhere. And if I do come up with the symptoms. I'm not going to stay in here. I'll just sleep in the same room and, and we'll be able to move about freely. We'll just quarantine the house, not just, or, or we're quarantining the house now, but we'll only quarantine the house. We won't just quarantine in our rooms. So that's the, the, the silver lining, if you will. Uh, we, I've almost forgot. We're getting tested Monday. So Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern, that's when the test happens. I think it's the longer one. So it's going to be at least 24 hours uh, before we get the results. I'm thinking it's going to be positive, at least for my wife. So, but we're treating it as if we potentially, you know, one or more of us have it. Um, what else? Oh, stacking, prepping, the thoughts that are running through my mind. We're stuck. Okay. I, I, I can't go outside, right? I can't, you know, go to the post office. I can't go to the grocery store. We can't get food. So the thought was, what do we have in the house? No, obviously some some people can help us out. I have my you know sister, brother in law, and others that could to bring us stuff. But this really does make you think when you're involved firsthand in a in a pandemic. How prepared are you? What do you have stockpiled away that you can make use of? This is a you know hopefully a minor thing for us. And uh, you know after what uh, ten fifteen days or ten fourteen days or whatever it is. Uh, symptom free. I can leave. We can. We're not going to be too long without going to the uh, store. But what if we were stuck in here for weeks, months? That is. That's why I'm a prepper. I prep the Yankee way. Like I stack the Yankee way. I try to, you know, hope for the best, but plan for the worst. So that that's been rolling around in my head. How prepared are we for something like this? Uh, and stacking too. So I can't get to Tim's. I can't go to the local coin shop and buy stuff. I've got cash in this house that I am ready to buy. Now I'm toying with what to buy at this point. I'm thinking maybe shifting to gold for a few weeks might make more sense because of the premiums. Percentage wise, gold is less expensive over spot than silver is. So I might, I might do that, but um, it is tough not to be able to, to get out and get to a coin shop, which I absolutely love to do. Um, I could buy things online, but I'd rather buy it at an LCS dealer. Oh, by the way, check this out. Speaking of online 
local coin shop dealers, Hero Bullion. This thing is just amazing. We're going to be giving this away on Thursday. Wow. During Silver Pros. <laughs> Some lucky winner is going to get 10 ounces of gorgeous silver. The high relief. Uh, this is just, it's an amazing round. Oh, I love it. Man, that is one hefty piece of silver. So anyways, uh, oh yeah, plumber stacker. I like your coaster, dude. <laughs> that's where I put my drink when I'm, uh, when I'm, uh, recording and working. So that's awesome. Uh, oh, and I'll give you a little more view here. Yankee stacking. Congrats on surpassing 10,000 subscribers. Well, of course you don't get a 10,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube, but you do when you have a daughter that loves you. <laughs> so I got that from my my daughter. Um, what else? So I got my rare earth magnets ready to be used at a moment's notice if I have to test something. Uh, and over here is just the table I use for um, you know shipping. So I just swing this up. Makes a nice platform for me to do all that work. And then yeah, my bed. It's a comfy bed. <laughs> and how do you like my slippers? Yeah, they're wicked awesome slippers. They come from L.L. Bean. Best slippers ever. Check them out. Yeah, that was TMI. I'm sorry, guys. I better wrap this up for day one of Yankee with COVID. Thanks for watching. And I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.